Hi everyone, welcome to the How Did We Get Here YouTube channel. I'm Johannes and we today we are going for a short uh, hike. We are, or I am, looking for some kind of ancient fort that are supposedly uh, located here somewhere in the woods of southern Sweden. Not too far, too far away from where I live. We have just arrived at some a place which where I can park my car quite comfortably and from here we are going into the woods so let's see how that goes there shouldn't be any rain but as you know if you don't bring your jacket it definitely will rain so we'll try to pack it up in some way, at least. Quite chilly, actually. Not that warm as I said it would be. So maybe the jacket actually will come to use. We will definitely find out. It shouldn't be very far to this fort or whatever it is. I, I won't. I don't have very high hopes for it. It's quite supposedly quite old. Okay. There is a road there, but. I'm not really sure where it goes, so we will just, I think we will head in this way and we will see where it takes us. It, this looks like more like a machine trail or something. This is not entirely wild grown, but it's quite, quite thick forest. It has been raining quite a lot lately, so it's a bit, it's a bit wet, easy to slip on different branches or whatever. As you can see, this is a typical Swedish forest. This part they haven't been really active. You can tell it doesn't grow anything on the lower part of the tree since it's so shadowy and damn, that's a really high pine. Okay, so if we're walking in this direction, we should get to this fort or whatever it is. If I'm correct, this fort is from the 5th century or something, which makes it over 1,500 years old. And you can imagine the fort they built at, in that time probably doesn't look like anything you've seen in the movies or anything. like some boars have been here and or wild pigs have been here it's really wet and they have been tearing up the ground to looking for roots and stuff to eat that might be a problem we'll see if if we hear anything Anything remotely similar to a grunt or squealing or something. I won't just be staying here and check it out further. An angry boar with children is not to play with. But there should be a lake here somewhere where we possibly could have something to eat and get ourselves a hot meal. I don't 
think I will be able to walk into that. That's that's like a marsh or something. This is quite thick. I think we go back a little bit around here. This is like a rave wilderness or something. Whatever machine there is working here, maybe they should cut a path right here. So you don't have to fight your way in the bushes and stuff. This might be it actually. Let's see, we'll take a look at the map in a second. If we head up this hill here, we will arrive at the road we saw earlier where we parked the car. Oh, quite steep. Okay, this is the road. Right here. Ah, this can't be it. I think we press on. We follow the road for a little bit, see where it takes us. Quite nice view, actually. If you enjoy the forest, at least. Since we entered the woods, it's not more than right that we announce our presence. For the lady of the woods, you don't want her to come catch you unannounced. If you're interested in hearing a story about the lady of the woods, feel free to check out the other content on our channel. One of the parts are made by an AI voice and the other part is narrated by myself actually. Okay, let's see. Can continue right here or we'll get down there. Let's see, I take another look at the map, see if we haven't made any progress. According to this, we are supposed to go down this path. That looks bright and nice, and this lot dark and ominous in somewhat, in some ways. Fine, follow the map. Let's go. This is quite rural, actually. It's, it's more distant, so more far off into the woods than I thought it would be. Many other sightings of old rune stones and old forts here in southern Sweden, most of them are lo located near villages or towns and there are quite a few. If you take a look at the map, I will show you later. There, this place is littered with rune stones and paths and different places where you can check out. This is a, quite a cool tree actually. Okay, right, let's see. As you see, it's not that remote since the power lines stretches over here. But I think if we head over there, we will find our goal. We'll continue here, see if we can see something behind this tree line. I'm not so expecting any company on this hike, but you never know. I drove past a couple on my way here, so it's not impossible that they are looking for this place also. It's, it's better looked after than where we were before. We head right in here to see. If we get any closer, we should get closer, but I'm not entirely sure. This area is completely new to me. 
and I have no idea how this fort looks like. I really have no idea. It might be just a rock that were easy to defend in the old days. But we will see. The stone wall here tells us that there has been some kind of life here before. It's illegal in Sweden to move or destroy uh, stone walls like these. On the map there should be a lake, but I'm not sure if it's a marsh or something, as you can see, maybe. Let's, let's take another look over here. Bones. It's always to see. Always interesting to see signs of death, I think. Or not. That is quite big bones. Not sure what it is. That is big. I'm not... I don't have the, the biggest hands or whatever, but that looks, that looks like a femur of some sort. Oh, here's more. Part of a skull. I'm in some kind of marsh. I think I have to head back and have a look. To see if I can take a route around this thing. I won't be able to walk through this. Okay. Let's take the boring route around it. Okay, so we are halfway, I think, around this wet area. It's hard to tell, but we are supposed to go up there, I think. Oh, yes, there's a ditch. We just jump up. Stealthy as a puma. Another problem. We won't walk through that. We are trying to walk to Mordor, but we won't do that. If you have followed our other videos on the channel regarding walking to Mordor, we are doing, you know that we are doing a conqueror challenge where we, me and my buddies Jacob and Jonas are walking the distance Sam and Frodo walked in the Lord of the Rings series which is quite longer than you expect uh, stuck this is a path It's quite wet. It's really wet. And with a backpack, it's quite hard to go through everything. Okay. No problem. As you said, stealthy as a puma. There's a wild path going right in there, but it's too narrow. A little me. But now I think we are heading in the exact right direction. How in the world are we going through that? Yeah. 
Maybe I found a path. We are officially on the other side of the marsh. Now, we were there. And we walked all the way around this thing. Out of that shrubbery. Now we are here. Let's... Perhaps we can walk up right over here. Oh, that's a nice located hunting tower. If you are playing Hunter Call of the Wild, this would just Except for the power lines, this is quite beautiful actually. When I see that, I think I will I reconsider and walk, continuing there. Let's do it. I hope the wind doesn't bother you too much. It's not that much, but... We have been blessed that there is no wind. Ta-da! <laughs> is this it? I've seen pictures and there was something looking like this hill. Well, there is somewhat like a road heading here. And, of course, if this path, if you can t call it that, it looks ooh, like a gateway. You can maybe imagine some kind. Huh, what's this? That doesn't look really... That doesn't look very... Environmental. Someone has been camping here, I think. Putting up a tarp, a drain pipe. Looks like it's quite a while ago, though. Yeah. I actually think this is it. Not that and this of course, but I think I think this hill, like that hill and these stones here or pieces of rock are the fort. Well, I think we're here, and of course it doesn't look much, but these rocks look like they are forming some kind of formation. It's not man-made, of course, but you have to imagine that this forest maybe wasn't here, or didn't look like this, 
1500 years ago. So maybe this was the wall or something. And it's quite to catch it on camera, but it's it's quite high. Let's head back back there, over there. And there it goes. It's like a natural wall. Which I assume was the point of this place. Yeah, that's like easily 15 meters down there. So coming from here and coming towards this fort, it can't have been an easy task if there was people standing up here and defending it. But yeah, this wall or whatever stretches quite far actually. We don't want to go too near the edge, but from there, that's fairly easy to climb. This is impossible. It's a odd looking growing tree, just growing outside of the woods or growing outside of the rock. So basically it's a hill. But of course you can't see a lot of evidence after 1500 years. And here's uh, some kind of, I kind know, of road perhaps. Or this might have been the courtyard or the yard in this fort. It's, that's what I, I imagine at least. Let's see, let's head back here and take a look at the rock where we arrived. We came from this direction. The rock starts over there, and we were sitting over there, went here. Check it out. That's a better view. Okay, so of course it's not, it's not, it's not a fort in what we think is a fort when you know, you watch movies and stuff like that. But it is, uh, out of question, an easy spot to defend. But there's no signs of living quarters or anything. But, as I said before, 1500 years, nothing really stands against that, mu that many years. If you are like a Viking village. Okay, we have a little less than an hour to settle down, have something to eat, and then head back. So let's get to it. Well, this looks like a good spot. food. We're keeping it pretty simple today. We're just gonna heat water and pour it into this bag. Not sure how much water we need. But Yeah. 
It is burning a bit uneven though, but you can already tell it's starting to boil. So. Heating up quite good. There's a line in the bag where you're supposed to fill up with water, but it's, it's, it doesn't harm to use a little extra since every, a lot of water is soaked up into the dry food. And the uh, first times I tasted it, it was quite dry, so don't be ashamed if you want to use more water. Okay, it's very close to boiling now, so we, I think we set it out. Let it sit for 10 minutes. Mm. I can feel some rain thing, some tiny drops. Shame that it wasn't more clear. A bit too bad, but still nice. It ain't much, but it's almost worth it. Mm, that's a good meal. Keeps you efficient at least. And of course, all the trash you bring, you bring home. Twelve o'clock now, but we have time for a quick coffee.
Well, this was nice. It's time to head back. Let's see if we can take somewhat more direct route than through that march. But this was quite a cool place actually. Even though it wasn't quite what we, what we expected. If we're going back there, we have to go through all those small trees again and all that shrubbery thing. So I think we stick to this path right here. We can have quite a bit of a high tempo, it's easier to walk, we don't have to play Bushman all over again. If I take straight right into that shrubbery over there, I will probably get to my car. But I think we stick to this road this time. It's more efficient. And, I have, and we have a schedule to keep so. Quite higher than I expected. Perhaps we can go down here. Or we fall and break a leg. Someone has been working here quite recently. Turned out quite a good day after all. And there I was saying that the weather forecast actually got it right. Shame on me. Well, let's just face it, it, it's entirely because I brought my rain jacket. And there's the car. Sweet. 
All right, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have liked you have liked it as much as I did, even though we didn't really find what we were looking for, perhaps. But please consider subscribing, like if you like the video, and drop a comment if you have any thoughts or ideas, if you have any feedback. I read everything and I appreciate all comments. Hopefully, I see you in the next one. Take care.